Hey hello guys welcome to Wikivox channel where the search for the truth begins. Today's topic is EIA draft 2020 explained save India. What changes will we see in our lives after the coronavirus pandemic? Bill Gates says if there is a vaccine developed India will be the one who will produce the vaccine in large numbers and distribute it across the world. If there is a vaccine developed India's role will be a bridge to the vaccine. Vedandangal Bird Sanctuary is a 30 hectare protected area but there is a pharma company which is near the sanctuary. The pharma company has occupied some lands from the sanctuary and due to it the sanctuary's ecosystem might be affected. What is the truth in this issue? How many of you know about the EIA draft 2020? This is not politics whereas this is our lives. After seeing this video, think whether to share this video or not. If you have 1% willingness to share the video, please share it. 2020 has taught us a lot. 2020 has given us only destruction to the human species. What will happen next? What will be India's future? Can India reach 5 trillion GDP? All these questions are with us. When you read the newspaper in India, there is a question. Is Tamil Nadu becoming the next Silicon Valley of India? We know that many multinational companies are coming to India. Nitin Karkare asks a question. Do we need the economy or our environment? We can't see equal growth with both. What is the connection between economy and our surroundings? If we don't follow the procedures, we can live now. But our next generation may not live. This EIA Environment Impact Assessment Draft 2020 is the one which causes a issue. What does the EIA 2020 draft say? A project which may include rebuilding roads or buildings, a new dam or starting up a new industry, for example reopening Sterlite. So when these projects come to your city, village or town, how do these projects affect your surroundings? When we say environment, there is air, water and land. Are these projects affecting the environment? What damage does the project do to the environment? How many chemical waste does the project produce? Where does the waste water end up? EIA has to study it fully. EIA will study how the project is changing the environment. From 2006, every project in India must go through the EIA study before commencing their work. But now they have made many changes to the EIA draft. There have been changes and now it has been released to the public. Did our media speak in detail about this EIA 2020 draft? No. But according to us, this is the topic which should be spoken in detail. Today we have started talking about this EIA draft 2020. Let's hope the other channels do the same. From 1984 to 86, there were so many requests to save our environment by controlling air pollution and stop water pollution. Bhopal gas tragedy happens. Then the people knew that if they start an industry, there will be a pollution and it will change their environment. To oppose this, a law was sanctioned in India. This law reached its full structure in 1994. This was the time environment impact assessment was started. From 1994 to 2006, EIA's successful ban of projects is zero. A project through EIA will be started and they will pass it easily. The government officials and our government will say that there is no change in the environment through these projects. There are 1000 of these industries which are functioning in India which has EIA approval and are affecting our environment. But in 2016 they bring in changes to the EIA. When the changes happen many discussions to bring in more industries happen. Why these industries are going to be opened? After the coronavirus pandemic these industries and companies will offer jobs to the Indian population. If our economy and employment have to grow, then many MNCs should come to India. Will these MNCs harness our natural resources or not? Will it affect our environment? So two targets which are environment and economy but one India. Can we increase the economy by not damaging our environment? Through this EIA 2020, we can't do it. India's natural resources fully will be destroyed. The reasons which we have to see in this video. There is a list called the Environment Impact Assessment List. 
before starting a project the environment impact assessment will set rules and regulations there is an international organization with 180 countries being a part of it do you know india's place in the list which has 180 countries on 2018 india was in 177th position imagine how eia works in india the rules and regulations for not polluting our environment which actually doesn't exist in India. But in 2019, India had big improvement. We moved up to 168th position. Is India now concentrating on our environment? No, our environment marks in the list was 30 out of 100 in 2018. But in 2019, it decreased to 26 out of 100. Many countries have temporarily relaxed their regulations to bring in companies into their country. EIA 2020 has two plans. Before completing the EIA, they can start the company or industry. After they have started the production, the company or industry can complete the EIA norms. This is a very good idea for India. Well done, Indian government. Do you know how much impact this will cause to our environment? The former companies have been changed to B2 companies. Until 2006, there were A and B categories in EIA. B had B1 and B2 categories. The companies which comes under the A category must get EIA certificate. This certificate tells that the EIA has studied the project and the impact it causes on the environment. EIA study has 8 steps. Following these 8 steps correctly and with confirmation from a scientist, a company can be started at a designated location. A category companies or industries should have this EIA certificates. But the 2020 EIA draft says that all pharma related companies are changed to B2 category. B2 category companies don't need the EIA certificates. After the draft was released, within a period of two weeks, more than 100 company proposals have been received under the B2 category. Now you can use connecting the dots from the Bill Gates announcement to this category B2 change. The Indian government is now saying that coal mining operations will be privatized. Before the government announces it, this EIA draft 2020 has been released. Through this EIA draft 2020, they have reduced rules and regulations for the coal mining operations, petrochemical projects and chemical based companies or industries. The EIA is indirectly saying to the companies not to highly follow the rules and restrictions. Easily you can start the company or industry. What will happen next? In the name of coal mining operations, our natural resources will be destroyed. Right now, it's happening in Dibang Valley, which is in Arunachal Pradesh. Dibang Valley is the home to a wildlife sanctuary. Please search for more details. You will learn the truth. On 2016 EIA regulations, the Indian government has a period of 640 days to analyze and give permission for the company or industry to be opened or not. But EIA 2020 reduced the days to 108. This change has been done to quickly start a company or an industry. Before a company or industry is being built in the region, a survey should be taken among the people who live in the region. For example, the project may be an 8 lanes, highways, roads or a dam or building a new industry. The government has to take a survey from the people living in the region. People's opinions did matter. Now, the government doesn't need to conduct surveys from the people on the coal mining operations, petrochemical and 8 lanes highway road project. If there is a project where a survey has to be taken, people can study this project and explain their hardships to the government within 30 days. But now people have to respond within 20 days. So take for example, on 1994 in Tamil Nadu, the Indian government approves a project in a district. But another man from another district can stop the progress of the project by asking questions against the project. This is how the EIA worked in 1994. On 2006, they changed the law that only people from that particular district can ask questions. But in 2020, our government has gone one step further. Now it says that only the people living in the area can ask questions about the project. But does the government know that there are uneducated people in the region? Do the uneducated people know about these proceedings in the area? No, the government doesn't care about it. Can the social activists ask questions to the government? The answer is absolutely no. 
can the people living in the region raise questions? EIA 2020 clearly says that only government officials can ask questions and the particular company can report back to the government if there are damages to the environment. How funny and sad is this meaningless law? How will a company or industry come forward and say that they are polluting the environment? Does the Indian government think that all Indians are fools? But sadly, this is the law. So according to 2006 EIA, if a company or industry is going to occupy more than 20,000 square meters landscape, they should get EIA certificate. But the 2020 EIA says that the certificates must be taken for buildings which occupy 1.5 lakh square meters. For example, it is like an airport. So companies and industries which are going to be built near you, which is nearly the size of an airport, they don't need permissions from the people living in the region. They don't care about the environment and don't need EIA certificates. Where will the waste go from the industries? This question will remain a question. Can they construct buildings in swamps now? Yes, you can absolutely build it, says the 2020 EIA. This unimaginable draft with unacceptable reasons has been released. We can raise questions against this 2020 EIA. We can send complaints. The last day for this is August 11, 2020. So within 20 days, we should ask questions, clear our doubts. If you are against this 2020 EIA, you can launch a complaint. This all has to happen throughout India. And this should be done within 20 days. If we do this, the imperfections in EIA 2020 may be corrected. So, when we ask people to act in this issue, some people may ask us a question. Are you against India's growth and development? We say that the economy should grow, but our natural resources should be protected. Our government has to do these two actions. We are asking for the right decisions to be made. We are not saying that no MNC should come to India. If an MNC is coming to India, will it affect the environment of India? What solutions does the Indian government have? If they have the answers, then it is acceptable. If not, find a place which will not affect the environment. If they do it properly, the next generation will benefit from this EIA. If the government fails in this, we now eat rice. But the next generation will have nothing to eat. We have only shared few topics with you. There are so many demerits in this EIA 2020 draft. Please try to study the EIA draft 2020. Please ask about it and write in social media. We speak many topics, but this is an essential topic to speak. This topic is for our next generation. Comments about this video are most welcome. Please do subscribe and share for more content to Wikivox, the voice of Wiki. Please don't forget to click on the notification icon. Nandri Vanakam.